Jesus is a black man, you can't be saved. Hey, wait a minute, wait. Oh, Robert, you you changed his word. But notice about that blasphemy, although he gonna say it in a minute. Just stay with us. <laughs> we coming around the stretch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, and it says, so if one goes to their death, never having had the opportunity to learn the truth that Jesus is not how they imagine him, are they lost and bound to hell? Well, whoever this person is, boy, they sure put these questions together good. They are. <laughs> Here goes response. He says, that's why it's called deception. Why wouldn't someone believing in a false image, which means they believe the lie of a of a white Israel, which is connected to all sorts of other lies, be in danger? If their entire concept of scripture is based on lie after lie, how could they truly be Christian? So first of all, Pastor, did a white Israel give us the Bible? <laughs> no. See, right. See, a lie. You can't have it both ways. That's right, right, right. Because that statement will go against the whole, the 66 books. Am, am I right or wrong? You're right. You're absolutely right. Right. Right, right. right. And then notice he brings it back to the Christian. But let's go a little bit farther. He wasn't finished. Go ahead. Many people outright refuse to believe the truth when it is presented. And instead, cling to the false image. No, he said the image. He ain't said nothing about the doctrine. He ain't said right. nothing about the word. In a teaching uh, back a while ago, you and I talked. Yeah, somebody put pictures in the book, but they didn't change. You got to show me where the text was changed. Folks, mm -hmm. I always want to talk about the, the text was corrupted, but they can never show you uh, the un uncorrupted version. Mm -hmm. Right? Take the images out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? and you still have the Bible. What they say at the uh, at the bus stop, Pastor. The white man wrote the Bible. Yeah. And then we asked the question, which one? <laughs> he never can tell us. <laughs> right, right, right. So, all right, keep going. It says, instead, cling to the false image. How would they be any different than the person that believes the lie based on deception? Both believe in a false white idol and a false biblical narrative created by Europeans. The truth sets us free, not a lie. In other words, they bring it back, they tie your salvation back to the color of the skin. That's right. Hey, but he, uh, he's a little bit more. It says, uh, I guess. It's, this is, this it's is somebody called it. Called it. They didn't agree with me, called him out a little bit. Uh, what'd you say, Pastor? Oh, no, no, I, I didn't hear that part. This is, he's, he's answering Samantha now. Go ahead. This is what we Okay, and it says to Samantha, thanks for leaving a comment. I'll answer your question one by one. What specifically do you believe is not true? I don't teach racial superiority. Listen at it. Listen at it. Go back over that one again, Pastor. He <laughs> says, I don't teach racial superiority. The Bible does teach it, though. Wait, did y'all hear that? <laughs> he said, the Bible <laughs> teaches racial superiority. Here <laughs> are the verses. Wait a minute, wait a minute Pastor. If mm -hmm. the Bible teaches it, what should we be teaching? Racial superiority. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Uh, 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 that's a little <laughs> <laughs> Amen. It says, I don't teach racial superiority. The Bible does teach it, though. Here are the verses you can read for yourself and see. It clearly states that Hebrews are above all people on earth. I didn't create or write it. I only point out scripture. Well, let's see if. Uh, Dante, I almost messed up his brother. And let's see if Dante is right. The first one he puts up. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Exodus oh, 19. Andrew, I know you got it. So in, 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 in relation to what Dante said, what about that scripture show that he's wrong? And what was it actually talking about? Um, that if they kept the commands of God, that first of all, they were chosen to be a peculiar people to go forth and bring other people to God, not just to be above other people and say they were <laughs> superior. <laughs> so they would be peculiar or a chosen people that would stand out, look a certain way to draw other people to the Lord. And that's only if they obeyed his voice. I didn't put the if there. <laughs> hey, pass. I got a yeah. question. Uh -huh. Did they do it? No. Oh, okay. I just wanted to right, 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 right. 
Let's, let's, let's look at this next example. Next part says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Well, so when did special mean superior? Oh, Pastor, you know, we use our own terminologies today. Oh, okay, okay. okay. It can mean whatever I want to mean. Special. But, 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 but see, you forgetting. I believe the scriptures, but look like I got a problem believing the scriptures. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Good I, I firm. It says, only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. Deuteronomy but, 10 and 15. But once again, God told us why he did it. Not right. that you was all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> right, no. right. He told us why he did it. Right, right. Well, let's go, love, Father. Here we go. And it says, I don't teach anything as biblical that isn't found in the Bible. That's kind of what he said up in, in number two. It is. When he said, I don't teach racial, racial superiority, but the Bible teaches though. Then you just said that you, you con just contradicted your own self. Yep. Go ahead, minister. It says, verse number three, your belief that Christ doesn't have a color is false according to the Bible. Daniel described him as having arms and legs the color of burned bronze, Daniel 10, 6. John described him in Revelation as having feet the color of burned bronze, Revelation 1, 5. Here is a picture of burned bronze, which means he definitely chose a color, and that color is the same color as black people today. Mm -hmm. Jesus was black. Once again, I, I, I'm almost ready okay, we got some more to go. <laughs> you tell me what it is that the man believed. Right? If it wasn't important, why are you teaching it? Right, absolutely. And right. then, too, I'll add this, too, just so that it's on the table. As he's using these scriptures, he's using them out of context. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and if you start from, let's see, Job, Job 40 and 18, as you look at all of these scriptures, as he's using this word bronze, he's describing a couple of things. He's describing strength. He's describing endurance and he's describing judgment. Mm -hmm. And when you go to Revelation one, it's talking about Christ's feet because he's returning to a sinful world. And he is about to what? Bring judgment. That bronze is a symbol of judgment and strength, not of color and, and how your skin looks. Amen. 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 <laughs> right. Right. Now, that scripture in context and it ain't because we know brain, uh, brainiacs. When we sit down and begin to, 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 to reason out scripture and we pray <laughs> and read scripture and then God illuminates and then he gives us others in the body of Christ who may see something that you don't see. Because if I see it, I ought to be able to point it out to you that you can Absolutely. see. Right, Pastor, right, right. Pastor, we yeah. got to give them one. We got to at least give them one. A verse. Yeah. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. 20 through 24. Oh, I thought you were finna cast it as translate. Deuteronomy 28, start at verse 20 through 24. Okay, okay. There we're gonna we gonna show how we're gonna show the example of the seed plot, how this thing started with him using bronze. Okay. It says, The Lord will the Lord will send on you cursing, confusion, and rebuke in all that you set your hand to do until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the wickedness of your doings in which you have forsaken me. The Lord will make the plague cling to you until he has consumed you from the land which you are going to possess. The Lord will strike you with consumption, with fever, with inflammation, with severe burning fever, with the sword, with scorching and with mildew. They shall pursue you until you perish. And your heavens, which are over your head, shall be bronze. And the earth, which is under you, shall be iron. The Lord will change the rain of your land to powder and, and dust from the heaven. It shall come down on you until you are what? Destroyed. So now, when he's lived using the heavens as bronze and the earth as iron, Mm -hmm. he's, he's leaving you in a position where you can't move. So now he's also bringing what? The judgment on you and he's showing his strength and he's he's leaving you trapped in between the two mm -hmm. where you can't get away. Pastor, I don't think I want to be superior. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm good on that. If they go, if they go on the folks who who pride tell them that they superior, <laughs> you can keep that. <laughs> Amen. I just be, I just like to be a little old boy at the Lord's uh, bond. <laughs> let's see, mm-hmm. let's see. Uh, trying to think. Uh, uh, oh, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, y'all know him better than I. Only my only thing was because. Folks calling these people brother and all these other, you know, that we want him to be saved, right? And, and I didn't get a lot on his. The other fellow, I kind of got more on his. So I don't really know about him coming out of uh, 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 being uh, being a Christian, coming out of Christianity, and whatnot. Because I, I didn't find that yet. And I said, well, I, and there's only so much time, you know. My wife said, you got to go to bed sometime. You can't sit up watching these folks. So, but I, if I'm gonna say something, I like to know what I'm talking about. Right, right, right. And so, um, but anyway, let's go go ahead and get back here. You got something else you, Minister? No, I, I was just saying, you know, as, as we see that, so when we get to the book of Revelation where he starts to change the scriptures, we have to understand that mm-hmm. as God has been using this word, he's mm-hmm. using it in a certain way. And I have plenty more scriptures that I can use, but mm-hmm. for the sake of time, we're going to keep going. And actually, we do have one out there where you did open up Re- Revelations talking about the judgment what, it, what John saw about judgment when we went through this. So we do have a video out there. No charge. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now let's get here. We go. We're getting over that. Let's get to that last statement about it. That this is the one that brings it home. Okay. Describing him in any other way than what the Bible describes him as is false, self deception, and blasphemy. It's what? <laughs> blasphemy. So let me ask, Minister, if I'm blasph- if I'm blaspheming Christ. Well, I, can I make it into heaven? No. Right. And so, based on what he's saying, if I got it, if if I say that, if I say or oh, don't believe that Christ is black and is blaspheme, is blaspheme, how can I make it into heaven? Can't. Because he, according to him, it mm-hmm. ties everything else into a false teaching. That's what he mm-hmm. said earlier. That's his doctrine. And yet he says that he believed in the essentials, pastor. What do they all say? For Christ will come, uh, for many Christ will come in my name, saying, mm-hmm. I am the Christ. Yeah. We know this, Matthew 24. And this is the same thing these people are doing. So why do we try to play the game with them as mm-hmm. if they're telling the truth? Mm-hmm. Right. God's not going to stop their free will to lie. They're going to mm-hmm. lie. Mm-hmm. It's your choice to have spiritual discernment and know better. See, see. And I, you know, and I applaud. And I told you, uh, 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 so I, I applaud Sister Cherry how she called him. I can't remember the wording now because <laughs> he tried to, to make it look like oh, her site don't know how to go to and and all this stuff. And 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 she brought it back and tried to make it. But it's bothering you. I, I'm par- paraphrasing. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> if it wasn't about that, what is you talking about, right? See, but the, the thing of it is, I ain't got time to go back and forth with them on that. Again, I'm here on on this particular point. You can't call these bro- these guys brothers and sisters who teach bad doctrine. Now we ain't talking about something that we, because all of us it was a time that we may didn't understand the the Trinity, and we still don't understand it. That, well, I speak for me, you have to say it for yourself. Other than what the illumination of the Scripture, because none of us had a mind of God to understand it in its fullness. We right. just know what the text get, gives us. But when we're told, so then, so it might be some things you can be off, but this is far out of left. And especially, mm-hmm. it's one thing to be off, but it's another thing to be off. And then you're also teaching it to other people. You've hey, taken, a, you're taking another mile. Right, right. And then I'm going to say, come on to the table. And when, and I can't call it like it is because you, you, my brother. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Okay, let's go a little bit farther. So we got him. The next guy. Uh, Black Tastic. Right, right. So <laughs> go ahead, Pastor. Minister. It says, Shalom. I am Brother Isaiah. Well, actually, you know what? He, he says it itself. And then we'll stop and talk. You don't have to read. Let's let's start. Right. So this is normally how I introduce myself. Shalom. I am Brother Isaiah. Welcome to the Mr. Black Tastic YouTube channel. I'm a born again Messianic Israelite. Praying with Israel. Oh, oh, wait, hold, so, I'm trying, hold. This is no Isaiah. Welcome to Isaiah. Ah. Oh, come on. Bear with me. Let me go back. Is he going to let me do that? Okay, I want to. He said he's a what? 
a born and a born again messianic Israelite uh -huh. or a Christian follower. So notice he uses the words. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Okay, let's go a little bit farther. Come on, Robert. I may just have to play it all in then because they ain't let me stop it and pause it. Isaiah, welcome to the Mr. Black Tastic YouTube channel. I'm a born again Messianic Israelite, a Christian follower of Adonai Yeshua Hamashiach, also known as the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe the Almighty God is awakening a remnant of scattered natural Israel as dry bones in a valley to their identity as part of the promised seed of faith, who are also descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, according to scripture. I believe this awakening is to bring together both Israelite and Gentile as one in Christ to fulfill scripture before his return. I believe the greatest portion of the awakening remnant of Israel are Negro people descended from slaves or brought to the Americas by other means. I do not believe that all black people brought over from the transatlantic slave trade are Israel, nor do I subscribe to the 12 tribes chart or one West doctrine of some Israel. Here comes. Now, let me clarify that real quick. Some people think that all of us, now I do believe that there were some Hamites who came over on those slaves uh, ships as well because the Europeans themselves, being, and they were so greedy and just taking black bodies weren't always um, as discriminate, maybe as sometimes we've been led to believe. So some of them came over with us as well. It's because the whole issue for the European primarily was black people, more so than just our ethnicity. And I'm gonna continue reading from there. However, I do not dismiss the claims of the camps as fellow Israelites who are also descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It is my most sincere prayer that through the ministry of the word of Yah, by the Holy Spirit, I may serve my generation as a prophetic voice by also doing the work of an evangelist in teaching the gospel of Yeshua Mashiach to edify, encourage, reprove, and rebuke with all long suffering and doctrine, according to the scriptures, to minister the word of truth to all in Christ or in need of his salvation. On this platform, I will be teaching or discussing scripture, history, and other relevant issues. I pray you receive insight inspiration and faith by the word in the name of Adonai Yeshua. Amen. Now, <laughs> you, you want to take a stab first? Uh-oh, I don't hear you, minister. Can't hear you. Well, okay, I got you. My, first of all, as I've seen in the chat, and also we all know that, of course, the remnant is not being woken right now. <laughs> first of all, he first of all, his eschatology is off. Uh -huh. Period, and we and we know this from Ezekiel chapter uh, what uh, 37, 38. Uh -huh. We also know it from uh, Revelation chapter seven. It, it, listen, once again, he is using what is known as light terminology, uh -huh. right? He's using our terminology, doesn't know about the eschatology, uh -huh. and doesn't really understand the interpretation. Of the mm -hmm. word of God, if he did, he wouldn't be so far off. Just in this one presentation, we know that he is so far off course that mm -hmm. is is just ridiculous. He's a born again Israelite. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm, gonna let you, I'm gonna let you go here. I'm and gonna, then he talks about, I mean, you're doing good. <laughs> and then he talks about, I do not dismiss the claims of the camps as fellow Israelites, as fellow. Notice the terminology I had, that he used as fellow mm -hmm. Israelites. Who also are descendants? See, see, notice the also. See, notice how he keep bringing. But wait a minute, I, how you know they're not Hamites? <laughs> right, right, no, right. And then they, and I could go in part that, but I just do it a little bit. Did Abraham have other uh, sons and daughters? Yes, he did. Right. So how you know you ain't a one of them? <laughs> see, but you're gonna keep trying to tell them. And then he uses. I didn't put it in this one because that's the one I was up this morning and couldn't make it to Bible class. <laughs> right. Watch it. Where he goes into talking about because he knows that we know that the the, the 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 church although and it's not in this one you're gonna hear some things he say but he really had he really attacks the church so it's like and he come out of the church and now he's trying to take those things that he supposedly learned over here and, he, and but he claims that he's not right 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 but he's really attacking the church as one who used to be in into the church and then he brings it back and tied up on the things that came out of the roman catholic church the crusaders when he talks about christian but i'm gonna hush and let y'all hear 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 for yourself and whatnot but all of it you won't get in this because like i said before second time we had to cut some 
But if you choose and got the time, go out there and look at some of the stuff that he got out there. I'm going to put it on y'all like since Jerry and Andrew put it on me. <laughs> right, right. Can't talk about it. You got to go there and look the evidence up. If I'm going to say, because you can you can get it in your mind. Wait a minute, something wrong with what they're saying. But I don't like to just come from that. I got to see the evidence for myself. And, and the best evidence to me is hear from the horse's mouth. But let's go a little bit farther. Okay, I think this is just a, I don't think this, no, that, we'll, we'll go back. Okay, yeah, so he, he, one post he had up, Christian versus Israelite, who's right? When disagreement becomes more than just about doctrine, but turns into ungodly behavior, then who can we trust? His answer, you trust the Lord and uh, and, and only the Lord. Because the thing of it is, he has a problem with the, uh, the urban church. Now, I don't use that term, but yeah. actually, when you actually go to hearing him and whatnot, He's really talking about the vocals and the faithful to God. And <laughs> go back and check it. You'll find out who he's talking about. Because then they go to talking about, well, why does it take them, a white man, or they have to bring us the, the, the truth. And I'm trying to keep it short. But I'm, I'm, my point of it is, you got these people that's taking this stand that they believe in the essentials, but they're steady trying to bring it back to be a black man's doctrine. Oh, yeah, the case didn't get in, but it's a black man's doctrine. Right, right, right. So let's go a little bit farther. Oh, then he says, do Hebrew Israelites teach a race-based doctrine that puts identity over salvation? Same thing other guys say. Absolutely, some do, but many do not. But notice, but many do not. Right. But all your teaching is about black. Absolutely. Right. We, we see the leaven. Yeah, yeah. No, no yeah. matter how sly you try to sneak it in, we can see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then he says, is there a doctrine called Hebrewism? Well, we already know because that's a term I use. I tell where I got it from. I got it from Vocab, who got it from uh, uh, James White. But it had enough in that. And that's why, because for me, and me and you said it off, just like we said on, on our on our opening slide, error is just error. I ain't got time to play with. My area ain't the same. What that sound? My dog is bigger than your dog. He's all a dog. <laughs> if it's air, I ain't got time to go to say your air over here and your air over there. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right. I ain't playing those games. That's that's called divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. Right. If it's air, it's just air. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And so he goes through that and you know, say so we have a problem. Uh, that term was created by others outside the Hebrews like community to unfairly label it. Right, right. See, I got to show you that I'm right. But I just woke up and found I was right. See, I'm awakened. But let's go a little bit farther. Then he goes into what is a moderate Hebrew Israelite. Who created that term and why? Answer. A moderate. Now, this is his wording. A moderate is a de derogatory term created by Christian urban apologists to label Israelites who don't follow camp doctrine, such as one west of the 12 tribes chart, but also believe in salvation by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. So he said, in other words, I just I just want you to accept me just as an Israelite. Matter of fact, the man goes on to say, and I, don't, I think I cut it out of here. But in other words, y'all Christians always want to ask me what I believe. Do I believe in the Trinity? Uh, do I believe in Jesus? Well, well, why y'all got to ask me? In other words, to him, that's offensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, then the last one, can you be an Israelite and a Christian? Yes. I say yes, too. Mm -hmm. The Messianic Jews. And then the Bible started. Yeah, not the Bible. The uh, the, the church is set up by what, minister? By Israelites. By Israelites. And then and, and, and then Gentiles came in. So we had no problem with that. Our problem with this this new, well, he, he don't like moderate. He really ain't gonna like this. This new age teaching. Yeah, no, <laughs> right, right, right. And then we and we just won't be blind and not see. But let's go a little bit farther. So I think this is a, a one he's talking. Let's get this here. Now, in Pharisees, him, I cut this. He's not saying that Jesus, you know, because I'm not going to lie on him. He, he said he just used the image because he wasn't trying to say Jesus had no perm or nothing like that. And then Sam, he said, let me make sure I hear you right. You, you can believe I was black, but you can't believe that other Israelites are also black. Yet you say you're woke. So his point of it is, is trying to say that folks can believe that Jesus was black and whatnot, but you can't believe that they're the black Hebrew Israelites. Well, he didn't say black Hebrew, it was like, but that the Jews are black, right? So, but it gave me hush, Robert. You sound like you are arguing his case. <laughs> but, but I just want to be fair with the information. So let's hear what he says. So we can accept the black Jesus Christ.
Christ as the truth, but you can't accept the people related to Jesus, you know, <coughs> naturally by blood, as also being the true people. It's almost as if they think somehow, some way, the people, you know, transform, you know, from black to white. We all became albinos, and we all got reverse suntans. Or uh, what Uncle Ruckus in the Bulldog said he had uh, revitiligo instead of getting uh, whiter, he got darker and darker. So we, got, I guess, we got vitiligo like Michael Jackson. So we got lighter and lighter, and that's not what has happened, okay? And um, and so it's. It's a it's an oxymoron or a contradiction to believe that Christ could be black and that the people who hung with him or the people that he came from are no longer black or weren't black, and that somehow their descendants, you know, aren't black, but they switched over and changed and became uh, white Europeans. Mm -hmm. All right. And it's not so much like again, this, this is not about revenge. And we're not trying to make it so much a race thing, but we got to make it the right thing. And if we've been wrong about race, we got to fix that. We got to erase that so that we can fix that. All right. And so, you know, and so this is why these types of things have to be addressed. And I talked in, in brief last night on a program that did get cut off about history and heritage and why that's important. All right. And then also about the priority of salvation in relation to that. And this is why these types of things have to be addressed. You cannot erase or deny someone their heritage and think that that's OK with the most high. Because he gave people heritage. And if we look in the scriptures, we see that going all the way back to the first man and first woman. And the scriptures, oftentimes, it talks about in the sermons of uh, making man, image and likeness. And that's the really the beginning of heritage. In Because her heritage speaks of inheritance. Adam lost his inheritance. His inheritance was the image and likeness of God. So when we get to Genesis chapter 5, he okay, to I'm gonna drop this because he goes on to, he goes on and on to try to sell this case. Well, let's let's look at something in the scripture. Let's go here, Genesis 12. You want to talk about inheritance? 12. Uh, come on, come on now. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse him who curse you. And in you, what, Ms. Andrew? All the, wait, wait. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. That's your inheritance. Period. <laughs> Period. From a, the biblical perspective, that's your heritage. You go ahead and you could, you and I talked about that. Thing. Show how God was using that. Because you know, they keep wanting to go back there and try to talk about genealogy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a shadow. As a shadow. As and then, go ahead, man. I don't want to take away from so when we look at it, right, of course, we know that at this time, Abraham was not circumcised. The promise was made to him and the promise didn't come through the law. So when it says all the families of the earth would would, would receive this inheritance, that is everybody who believed like Abraham believed. Mm -hmm. If you believe you have faith in Christ, then you will be what? A child of God. The nation of Israel wasn't even formed at this time. So we understand that this was not coming through the law and this had nothing to do with israel mm -hmm. this this promise was already made through who through abraham mm -hmm. so and then even you want to go back even a little bit farther mm -hmm. what's the other inheritance that we got that nobody won't what which one what did we inherit that don't nobody want oh death and see <laughs> yeah, death. Mm -hmm. jesus christ came to reconcile oh, once again back to that see but they want to make it be about all these <laughs> Other things, right, right, right. <laughs> Again, you're flipping the script. It's all mm -hmm. about him. It ain't about your inheritance. It ain't about except it being in Abraham. <laughs> it ain't about your uh, genealogy. <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> what about Luke chapter two, Pastor? Let's get oh, that. Let's go there. Luke two. Luke chapter two. I gotta make sure 